Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. What are you up to? Ah, uh, not much. Did some running around and now I'm back. <laughs> You're talking about an area in the community, Holly area, correct? About the crime issues. And it's one of the highest in the community, correct? Well, it is. And I, I think, though, I want to preface it more with crime has gone up all over the city. I, I you know, and I feel since COVID, the last two, three years, it's it's gotten worse and worse, right? And I think everybody's kind of noticed it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share the crime map so that, and, you know, we'll just kind of do the big ones. But um, that'll help you kind of get a look to see what's happening here. And this is coming from the Barry Police Services, correct? Right, so you, right. You know, we're not making this up. This is documented incidents in the Holly area. Well, no, this isn't just Holly. So right now, um, in the last 60 days, these are the weapon charges in the okay. whole city. Okay. So this down here, I can zoom in a little bit. Um, as you can see... Okay, let me try to go up a bit here. This over here, Allendale, this is the Holly area in here, right? Um, this is Highway 90? Yes. This is Highway 400. Okay, yes, I see. So this okay. is Painswick, this is Maple View. Yes, got it. Yep, you're right. So, of course, the city center always has a lot. So this is the weapons, and this is the city center. And that's the downtown core. Wellington. Yes, this is Manaha, the downtown. Mallcaster, yeah. Collier, you name it. Some of those. Right. Yeah, okay. that's that's the downtown core. Okay. This, but you also, there is also definitely... Like this is up at Waste Bayfield, uh, Country Club Estates, Georgian Drive. You can definitely see that the north, the central and the north have a lot more going on than the south. Yes. Yes. And they, they do. Right. And I know some people like, uh, you know, I'll have clients that, oh, I just want the north. And then I have other clients. I just want the south. It's right. funny, right? But. Right. You definitely can see there's more in the north and then down and and then like east and west, there's not a lot. It's just mainly near the 400 in this Holly area. Yeah. And, you know, it's such a there's a lot of homes in the in that area in the city. There's, you know, that subdivision is probably what, 25 for most of it years old. Yeah. Built up all over the place. And then you got the new addition over on Salem Road. Um, the Pratt Homes built over there, Bear Creek Ridge. Well, um, and this is Salem right here, Essa and Salem. Okay, yes. So you see where it is. Correct. You know exactly where it is. What do you think the reasons are to let our viewers know that, you know, there's some areas? Well, I, I think there's a lot of a lot of condensed housing there as well. Mm -hmm. Like you have a lot of houses shoved in there, a lot of townhouses, a lot of, a lot of, um, really, really condensed, and there's some low, low housing in there, like low value housing. Yeah, there is. There's a lot in the Holly area. There, there is, and yeah. and up here too. Yes, yes. There's West. a lot of student well, housing. There's a lot of um, a lot of students, a lot of rentals. Correct. And you got a lot of rentals in this area as well where I don't know if that's the whole problem. I don't know. But like in my area, there's nothing going on. No, there's, it's quite in your area. And, yeah. And but, even but the, there are more family homes too. There's not, a, there's not income properties and stuff too. Right. Right. And, and high density, lots of, you know, in the Holly, lots in Georgia drive area, lots in the Bayfield. That, high density. Yeah. High density yeah. housing. You know, we see a lot of that and those areas are built up around schools yes shopping areas yep very very quick access to highway 400 so exactly people tend to go to those areas too mm -hmm. right so we this is weapons in the last 60 days which is kind of alarming to me it's quite a bit um yeah i think you can see the number now it's 96 
charges. That's a lot. Weapons related offenses, 96. Yeah. yeah. For last 60 days. Yeah, that is a lot. I, I, yeah, I think it's a lot. So right. now if we take off weapons, this is all the crime, which is just crazy, craziness. Hard, hard to go through everything. Like doesn't tell our viewers anything. Break and enters only six over a 60 day period. That's pretty good. Wow. I, I, I'm shocked too, but two of them, Georgian drive area up again in the North end, West Bayfield area, again, up in the North end yeah. and one down, um, in the Holly area. Yes. Yeah. So drug related. We're again, sick. city center is huge. Let's talk about the city center just because city center <laughs> it's downtown core and, and there is some nice air locations in there, but it's a disaster for drug use. It is. In that in that part of, of the community. It's it's not just drug use, open drug use. Oh yeah, they're sitting there right doing it. And you know, yeah. I've been I watched that public safety committee meeting and I've been on this because it's it's aggravating me and upsetting me because the city is doing nothing and yeah. the police shut up about everything. And you know, the four guys that used to, you know, when I watched that public safety committee meeting. They said that um, before COVID, there was a addition and voted on budget increase for four police to walk downtown all the time. I never see it. Well, no. no, they used to. I remember going out to the bar with, you know, friends and stuff. And the cops came in every night and said, hi, you got to know them all. Um, yeah. But when COVID came, that went away mm -hmm. and it never came back. So no. the the budget did, though. The budget's still there. Like nobody took their money away. Right. Um, and you know, the police weren't even at the Barry uh community safety meeting. There was no representative of the police. Now, yeah. a lot of the time a lot, and when I've questioned some police, um, the issue is they bust them. They don't they get let out right away. They don't have a money for a fine anyway. Hmm. So they all they do is go through all this hassle to bust them. They get right back on the street. Nothing's done anyway. And they can't pay a fine or do anything because most of them or a lot of them are homeless. So why bother? I know. it's it's So for, for the viewers, that's the downtown core that Diane's <laughs> talking about, right? It, it's, you know, you got to have some patience to go down there in a sense because you're going to see open drug use. You're going to see offenses. You're going to see disturbances. You're going to see ODs. I've seen, I've seen ODs. I've seen police officers cuffing people. I've seen assaults. Um, there is a business in town, and that one's on the corner of, I think it's Maple. Mary. I think it's Maple and Dunlop. I drove by there yesterday. Right. Store closing, you know, and a gentleman who I'm friends with, his friends own it. And I asked, why are they closing that business? It's a pretty successful business, it's been there forever. There is a homeless, there is a, I think there's a shelter next door to them on the street or a rooming house. And someone who lived in that rooming house stabbed one of the parents. So they said, that's enough. We've had enough. Our safety is at risk. We're shutting it down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those are things that happen in the downtown core city center. And, you know, but bear, again, we're talking harsh about it. But this is the new reality in a lot of communities today, just not Barry. Oh, I heard it's terrible in Brampton. I heard it's oh. terrible in uh, downtown Ottawa now is a gong show. Right. It's becoming the new norm. Yeah. Right. In downtowns up north to North Bay, they struggle through the same problem, addiction, homeless, assaults, businesses broken into. Same stuff that we see in, in our community. There's experience in other parts. Well, of the I, you know what, Mark? I, I mean, I watch that safety, that community safety meeting and. And I'll tell you, yeah, they're, they're not everybody down there is violent and not everybody down there, you know, is, is a criminal. Some of them are, you know, actually homeless and, you know, in dire straits. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, I understand that it's not everybody. Um, my, my issue with it is, you know, and I saw people from different organizations saying we should be helping these people and they're not criminals and you shouldn't be afraid of them. You shouldn't be afraid of a guy going on a, this, this comment totally blew me away. You shouldn't, you, 
you shouldn't be afraid of a guy going on a homeless rant or a psychotic episode or a girl that's trying to, you know, turn a trick to get money. That's because you're entitled and you're not comfortable seeing that. So, so, but the onus is now I'm not comfortable because there's people that are less fortunate than me. That is not the truth. No. I mean, you and I and our, we've, we've drank, we had some, you know, we were teenage party people. Sure. Um, we know that people that are on drugs and that people that are totally inebriated to, uh, are not, they, you don't know what they're going to do. No, we don't. And I think the episodes downtown, you got to be ready for it. You got to, you know, know your surroundings in a sense, but I, I, I get it. Right. It's, 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 it's a changing, uh, it's a changing community. He will say at, at least. And, 82 offenses in the last 60 days, drug-related offenses. Well, and, and I just counted. So down here in the in the Holly area, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. We have one over in the in the South Shore area, kind of. Painswick South Shore in there. Yeah. Um, so that's nine out of 82. So the bulk of them are still in the center and some in the north. A lot of rentals, a little bit. Okay, what else we got for our viewers? So, um, we can try crimes against other people. Let's sure. try that. Whoa, one hundred eighty-seven. Wow. And we sound like a broken record, but the cluster is up here in the north. In the north, look at them all. Like. There's tons. We can't even count them all. No, there's a hundred. <laughs> sorry, there's 187 altogether. Yeah. But look at also again how many in the north end. Yeah. Yeah. Up yeah. in here. Lots. Georgia College area, same thing. Yep. Other states. A lot of rentals. A lot of rentals. We see it. You know, city centers the biggest cluster and Holly's got quite a few as well because it's a big, it's a big, big geographical area. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of density. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be that. So. Okay. Stolen vehicles. Surprising to me in 60 days, three. Yeah. That's really come down. God. Hasn't it? Seven, eight months ago that was up there. Oh, we were having a, in my neighborhood, we were having like three or four a night. Yeah. 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 You had to put your vehicle. <laughs> a friend of mine got her Jeep stolen last year. Yeah. The driveway. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. It it was diff definitely um a big difference. Yep. Uh yep. so robbery. Not much. Fifteen total. Yeah. And look at where. The cluster city, city center still the most. City center. Yep. Yep. You got one here, one there. Yep. But the bulk again is down there. So I'm going to give a little description of this crime map and people can easily access it correct through Barry Police Services crime map. So if people are looking in certain areas of the community, they can go themselves if they want to see some of this stuff because. Yes. You know, there is a lot of people moving up from different parts uh, of Ontario into central Ontario and Barrie. And this is a great way, a great tool that you can go and see what's going on in certain areas. It's not, it's hard. To, we can't we can't break it down by street. I, I wish we could. I, I wish there was that much detail with it, but we're only given this information the way it is. And so we're talking more area, not street specific. Uh, I wish we could, but we can't. So well, and and the other thing too here is. So what I'm doing here is kind of showing you, I'm going to zoom out just a touch. Um, so over here is your legend that tells you all of the different type of things like alcohol related offense, break and enters city bylaw enforcement, like who cares? It's parking mostly um, yeah. crimes against people, mischief, fraud, like fraud, mischief, public morals, shoplifting like we don't really care about that because in general that's not a threat against us as 
no. people. No. And second of all, um, you're going to get that in the highly uh, where the shopping is anyway, like where the malls are. And you're going to get, you know, it, I'm not going to get that in a residential area where there's no stores. So yeah. you know, those, you know, those are kind of normal everyday occurrences. Right. So, but over here, you can see the number of offenses. Yep. And you can see, I'm going to just move our picture out of the flipping way so people can see. You can actually see it breaking broken down by numbers. Yeah. And then over here, you can actually pick what kind of things you want to look at, like weapons. Yep. Where's the most weapons? Correct. Where because like looking at this overall crime map mm -hmm. is um it's confusing and it and it doesn't really help you because of course there's kind of some everywhere, if you Correct. know what I mean. Yeah. And when you look at it as a whole, like if I spread out, look at the city of Barry. Yeah. Gong show. Gong show. Yeah. Hard to hard to hard to read it. Hard to see. So you can see certain roads. Yeah. Like see the main roads. There's Maple View. Yeah, I know. This the the main arteries. The main arteries, yeah. So yeah. I mean, and you can pick the lot the 60 days is as far back as you can go. Okay. Good. So Great tool for people wanting to know what's going on in their area in general and people moving into the community. Well, I actually learned about it from a client of mine. Yeah. So we were looking at a house actually in Holly. Yeah. And her dad was a police officer. And she says to me, oh, wait a minute. I got to check the crime map. Yep. And I already already been doing this maybe seven or eight years. And I'm like, what do you mean the crime map? Well, there's a crime map you can go on and you can see, you know, how much crimes in that area. Mm. And I was like, really? Who do I never thought about it, didn't know about it. Oh, no. And she looked at the area and she's like, okay, I don't want to be here. Right. But she's got some, she got some information to make those decisions. Yeah. And, and what? most people that you talk to have no idea it's there. They don't, they don't. And We've, we've done, this is our second video on the crime map and the worst areas in Barrie that we call it. And our, and our previous video about a year ago is one of our most successful videos. So it's telling us our viewers are watching, right? They want to know. People want to know what's going on in a new community they're going to or, or community they live in. And they don't well, know Well, for sure. And you know, it's funny because like I said, everybody, all my clients from outside of Barrie and coming in from the from Toronto or Brampton or different areas, they all want to be in the north. Well, the college is there. Yeah, I know. The college is there and the hospital's there. That's the best place to be. Honey, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Well, we've known that for years, right? Yeah, well, we, we have. But people coming in from outside, they don't know. No. That they don't know, they don't know, right? And I was kind of surprised with the number of crimes against you know other people. Salts are in that mix. It's like there's 187. That's a lot. That's a. It's the biggest. I agree one with you. I uh, well, I was shocked at um. This dog is all of a sudden barking at something. I was shocked at the weapons. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. And again, Barry's not a small community anymore. Setting probably, but the science has 148,000, or probably about 151,000 people and growing. And you know, by 2030, which is six years away, this community will have 200,000 people in Barry. Yeah. Right? The, the amount of growth that we're going through, and, and we're seeing a lot of diversity now in different cultures coming to the community where 10 years ago, it was predominantly white. Not, 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 not today. There's a lot of new cultures moving into the community. And we know why it's homes are more affordable. Yes. That's from the city. Hop on the go train, go to work, hop on the 400, go to work. You got a lot of options today. So. Well, and I, and I think the issue too is, is that you also for years and years, and I remember going to some um, summits and stuff on real estate investment where everybody was saying Barry's the place to invest because yeah. the rent, the rents are some of the highest in Ontario. Yeah, it is. And they're higher than Toronto. Yep, I know. They are. And um, the prices are half the price of Toronto, yep. under half. Yep. 
So like CMHC, I went to this one that RBC put on CMHC, Barry was ranked number one or two to invest in in all of Canada. But the yeah. problem is that brought us, you know, a huge amount of rentals and a huge amount of investors. Absolutely. No, that's not going to change. But no. that that also brings in, I'm not saying all tenants are, are problems, but oh, you you have a lot of landlords that don't give a shit either and aren't around. 100%. So, I mean, I it, agree. It, it hurts the, it hurts the whole neighborhood, especially the student rentals. Yeah. It's always been a problem up there. The oh time. my God, Mark. I Have you shown some? I, I Any new clients and I have a new client um, that reached out to me from, from the channel and first time buyer. So of course I give them and say, you know what? I want you to, doesn't know much about Barry here, go to the crime map. Tells you a lot of their stories. He didn't know. Great. Useful tool. No. What about the North End? No, you don't want to be there. No, you don't want to be in this area. No. So it's just education, right? Of, of where where to be. We know the areas where people should should live in. And sometimes they can't due to affordability, right? But you know, I, I think there's so many Well, tools even up. the duplexes that I made that I purchased properties and turned them into duplexes, I always went in family neighborhoods. You have to, yeah. Because because it's also the quality of tenant you're going to get, hundred percent, and the price you're going to you're going to be able to charge, hundred percent. Go to the North End, so much turnover, so many. Then you're you're catering to a clientele of students. You know, a young family is not going to want to rent a basement apartment in that area when there's four students living upstairs. No, Just well, and the other the thing is, like, you go buy the house, the lawns are not taken care of. Students aren't mowing the lawn. Oh so, no, it's, it's easily identifiable. It's easy. Yes. There's, there's like your curtains on your front window are Canada, Canadian flags, hmm. right? Like you, you can Not, see it. Yeah. You see it, you know it, you haven't even been in it. Right. And you already know. Yeah. There's garbage out in the front, beer bottles hanging around. And I, I mean, it sounds like I'm being, um, what's the word? Um, Clapping students. Well, no. Um, what's the word like? Uh, stereotypical. Sure. But it's not like that's the way I've been there. I go there. I drive by there. That's the way it is. The way it is. I agree. And I do you want to live beside there? No. With your kids? No. No, not going to happen. So it brings the value of the whole neighborhood down too. As in certain pockets of the community have higher values based on better neighborhoods, right? The North end is cheaper than the South end for a lot of areas. They are. Okay. I think we're done our crime map. Very I think we are doing that homework on it. I think it's great. I think our viewers are going to like that as well. And any questions, please reach out, give it a like, give it a share, give us a follow for more information. Perfect. Okay. See ya. See ya.